Hey, what is going on everyone? Mikey here, bringing us episode 10 of Demon Season. We have been on Road to Glory, and in this episode, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff that happened this week with FIFA 14 and also FIFA 13 about my, uh, like, Road to Glory. So this is episode 10. Wow, it has been a long day, like a whole, I think it's been like a whole week now that I've been uploading, maybe a week and a half, I don't, maybe even two weeks, I don't even know, but... Yeah, so in this episode, we actually started winning. I kind of got used to the FIFA 13 new update. I don't know about you guys, but something about that update, like, three weeks ago, changed the way of P FIFA. Like, I didn't even play FIFA that much uh, up until my Road to Glory. And right there, look at that goal. How shitty can, like that be like Helton is one of the worst goalies in my opinion he is not good at all honestly if you saw my last episode Cavani scored a goal from like the 18 yard box like on the top right hand and he somehow scored that like I'm pretty sure a treat no a grandma all she had to do is swing a cane her cane or her prosthetic leg and she would have saved it like seriously Helton is not a good player because his card looks like he's doing weeds, weed, not weeds, he's doing weed and, or some cocaine or 99% uh, crystal meth from Breaking Bad. I don't know what he's doing, but he is not a good goalkeeper in my opinion. But yeah, anyways, what I want to talk about today uh, is FIFA 14 and this week a lot of stuff happened. Uh, I didn't think I was going to cover it uh, even though I'm a FIFA uh, channel. I didn't think I was going to really cover um, like what happened with FIFA 14 and how Kyle of crazy uh, interviewed a person and also Pokemon Tani doing all this uh, reviews and stuff and just look at that for a nice little uh, like uh, rainbow that was amazing from Remy Remy is honestly one of the best players and then Lucas right here scoring a bicycle kick like how like that's impossible to score like honestly I would never have scored a goal like that like you would have to put that like perfectly like straight on like I mean dead on so yeah anyways FIFA 14 a lot of stuff happened this week some stuff that happened was the removal of formation cards new loyalty chemistry system new manager system position cards new formations in FIFA 14 which is I'm um, which I'm really excited for but the most exciting thing is probably single match returns like oh my god that like you don't know how much I missed that like you could just go in single matches get a thousand four three hundred coins sometimes in FIFA 12 and that is just amazing that's probably one of the best ways to get a, a nice road to glory now that I could do like bronze silvers and gold teams again uh, that's what I did last in FIFA 12 for my road to glories on my first channel and a lot of people like that and they also added new matchmakings but honestly they always say new matchmaking systems but then I come up against like freaking informs in division uh, 5 like you'll see like if you saw my uh, like road to glory you'll see that that happens and you search criteria which is also good so maybe they could search new things but something that really uh, caught my eye is how they're removing formation cards and a new loyalty system and if you guys haven't seen any of the FIFA 14 stuff here's just a brief summary they're taking away formation cards they don't like it they thought of it and I guess people don't like it because let's say if you have um, let's say Cristiano Ronaldo and you have you want to put him in two squads you'd constantly have to buy two different formation cards for that player let's say uh like who would buy two for, uh, cristiano ronaldo's for two different squads like it's it just it's not it's not fair like literally so they i'm guessing that's why they took it out they kind of listened to the public of uh, like the community i mean and that's a great thing also for position cards i think that's a really good idea too maybe they should do like a left four to striker which would be a, a very good and innovative way to make mix mix new teams but they should make this left forward to striker or right forward to striker a lot more rare let's say like it's impossible to get let's say it's like as rare as getting Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi like the, these formation card or position cards rather should go for more than like a hundred K that would actually be really cool though like if you want to get Ronaldo as a striker it would cost you a lot of money but then it would be worth it for those people who are uh, like very rich and stuff so tell me what you guys think about all these FIFA 14 stuff uh, I'll leave a link in the description for to Califraces even though I don't know him uh, to his channel of all these information stuff so thanks for watching guys Leave a comment on what you guys think about FIFA 14, like all this stuff, and how the new setup looks for Ultimate Team. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't seen all my other episodes, the playlist uh, is in, in the description. So other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later in my next episode in episode 11. Bye.